Leave it. Exercise two. A lot of people will find that after they've done leave it from the hand, the dog will be reluctant to follow a treat lure. That's okay. It's better to get impulse control first and then train luring as a behavior rather than get your dog excited about luring and then it's very hard for them to leave the hand when you're not luring them. So you can have a cue to teach your dog to follow a lure like get it and then they can follow the treat lure. And then when you're not working with the hand, it's obviously they're doing a default leave it and they're not going to follow your hand anymore. So don't be confusing when you do the leave it. A lot of people will put their hand like this towards the dog and see, it's, um, and see if the dog will back away. But that's very confusing because that's the same gesture you use for luring. So don't use the same gesture for luring as leave it. It's very obvious that you're not using your hand or, or the hands down here. Adding eye contact. After you're having success with the exercise in the previous tutorial, you can start to raise criteria. You can either wait to see if your dog offers eye contact and click the moment your dog's pupils meet yours, or you can cue the eye contact by making a noise that means look at me. See the video tutorial on how to teach this. Once your dog is succeeding and looking away from the food to look at you, you can start waiting and clicking the dog for looking at you for longer and longer periods of time. If you're agile enough, you can use your foot to cover the treat in case the dog gets it, or you can dive and cover the treat with your hands, but try not to do it in an intimidating way as this is supposed to be a fun game where your dog learns a very important behavior. When you're done, you can pick the treats up and feed them to your dog or put them back in your bait bag. If your dog starts sitting or downing in front of the treat, click but feed the dog so the dog has to get up and move away from the distraction. This is because the end result of the behavior is the dog leaving the distraction and coming back to us, rather than sitting near a dead rat or an aggressive dog in the distance. You will learn this in the next lesson. Use a higher value treat than the distraction on the floor as you want this to be a reliable behavior and teach your dog that you are always the best choice. Vary the treats you use. In the next Leave It tutorial, you'll see how to get distance on the Leave It as well as turn Leave It into a recall away from other dogs, people, and other types of distractions. See you next time and don't forget to subscribe for more free training videos.